Okay, so it's all hotted up and running, and now we're going to need to associate some wireless switches to it. And we're going to put the aux sensor aside for now because I don't need it switching the lights off. I'm still burning them in. And our radio power saver, oop, there it is. Uh, this critter is the one we're really, really interested in because this is, according to the manufacturer, an open loop sensor capable of self calibration. But there's a trick. How does it know its sensor ratio, right? More on this when we get this thing set up. But right now, I want to know what can I do with these? Uh, how can I group lights? Uh, can I group lights? I'm assuming we are going to be able to group the lights. What kind of control do we have uh, using a couple of these switches? Let's find out. All right, now our system is initialized, but we don't have any switch association with the lamps. This Pico switch is not going to do anything. So I'll go through the button push. You hold the center button down on the remote until the clear connect light begins to flash about six seconds. Lights indicate that we're going into association mode. I hold the off button on the control for about six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we should see some reaction from something here. There go the lights, okay, saying we've all been associated with this Pico switch. Now to exit association mode, it's the same thing. Hold down for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six on the middle button, and we should have our ecosystem bus flashing again and the lights indicate that we have now associated this switch with that power pack and indeed we have associated this switch with that power pack. So I can dim them up and down using the Pico switch and I can dim them down and turn them off Okay, there's a little delay and turn off, it fades them down. When I turn them back on, by default, they're all going to go to full output. Now that we've associated our switch with our lights, this one has a center button, so we can use it to set what's called a preferential lighting level. If I hit off, turns the lights off with fade down. If I hit on, by default the lights come up full. That's always going to happen. Okay, But if I want to set a certain level of lighting, all I need to do is hold down the center button and count to six, three, four, five, six. And probably something should happen. I don't know. Let's see if that worked. Turn them off. Turn them back on and hit my preferential lighting level. And there it went to my preferential lighting level. It's unclear from the instructions as to whether this can be applied to separate groups, but we're going to talk about grouping next, so perhaps we'll find out. So I can go full up or hitting the center button now, preferential lighting level. I'm under the belief that this is different than the multiple lighting levels you can set for an occupancy sensing device and we'll explore that when we get to an occupancy sensing device. Right now we're just looking at the Pico switch and next we're going to group the lights.